Hey everyone, it's Jonathan McDonald here from the Information Lab. Um, uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, use the power of Google Sheets uh, to um, create a Tableau workbook that has dynamically updating currency exchange rates. So this is useful when you've got data that you need to convert into a local currency. Um, that maybe you've got data in lots of different currencies and you need to standardize them on one currency um, in, in real time. So have, have that exchange rate update on a daily basis or even more frequently than that. And to do this, um, we're going to use um, Tableau 10's new Google Sheets connector. Um, and I'm actually going to show you a way that you can um, publish um, a Tableau workbook up to Tableau Public and um, have a have that update on a daily basis with the current exchange rate. So, uh, so let's get started. I'm gonna. Um, I've opened up a new um, Google Sheets um, uh, sheet, and I'm just gonna create a very simple table. Um, I've created one here already uh, to remind myself what the functions are. Um, but essentially, we're just gonna create a couple of columns. Uh, I'm gonna call my first column currency, and my second column rate and uh, in here I'm just going to put my currency codes so I'll start with um, I'll start with um, so we're going to convert from British pounds to maybe dollars and to euros and we're going to use a, a little known function of Google Sheets called um, the Google Finance function so um, here we go here's Google Finance and um, currency is one of the options I think that's the notation. We'll just go and double check. Um, actually, maybe I'll just copy from here. So I'm going to copy and paste that into here, and then we'll have a look at it together. So um, there we go. I've just pasted it in. So you equals Google Finance, open bracket. Then in quotation marks, you just do currency, and you do the from and to currency codes. So for this example, I'm just going to do USD to GBP. Okay, and you can see immediately it renders, and this is kept up to date um, whenever we refresh the page. But I'm going to show you how to make sure that happens more often. Um, in this example, we're going to change this from USD to EUR. And we can see that we get the, the updated currency rate there too. Now, <clears throat> that's all good and fine. Um, Google Sheets is, is auto, on auto-save, so that's all saved. But the last thing I want to do in here is just go to spreadsheet settings and recalculate and set this to change every hour or if you need it more frequently every minute is an option too but I think every hour is fine for me now okay so that's fine um, uh, that's saved uh, now I'm going to go into Tableau and I'm just going to open a new sheet I've, I've done one before but um, I'll connect to this again um, we're going to connect to Google Sheets and I'm going to allow that and we're going to go to currency conversions and click on connect and this time I'm going to bring in sheet 2 so we can have a look at it together so that's bringing in my, my dollar and my rate now if we're going to publish this to Tableau Public um, we do need to make sure that that's an extract so I'm going to tick extract and I'm going to go to my sheet okay so we now have sheet 2 currency conversions up and if I bring this in you can see that uh, that's my currencies and those are my rates um, so what I wanted to do is just build a really quick uh, bit of text that tells me what today's rates are um, and to do that I created a, a little parameter just to make it a bit more interactive which is just a float parameter um, where you can put in the amount that you want to convert into the, the, the currency um, and then we're going to drop this on, actually we're going to create two calculated fields. Let's do that first. Um, so this is going to be my USD rate. And let's do um, choose amount and we're going to divide that by uh, open bracket. If currency is equal to USD, then give us our rate and, and close bracket. Okay, and then we're going to do one that creates, uh, we're going to duplicate that, and we're going to do one for euros as well. So, um, we'll just call this one euro, 
and we're going to change this to EUR. And now we've got a euro rate and a USD rate. Okay, um, I just want to make sure that these are formatted nicely. I'm going to go to number format, and I'm just going to make sure they have two decimal places. I'm not actually going to put a prefix in here because these will have different prefixes. One will have the dollar sign, one will have the euro sign, obviously. Um, but I'm going to put um, I'm going to put our parameter onto text now. Um, let's put euro dollars and our parameter and I think that should be good so now I'm just going to click on the text marks control and edit the label and I'll do something quite simple like um, let's see so actually I'm just going to get rid of all this and I'm going to start with our parameter um, which is it which is formatted to show pounds um, we'll buy you and then I'm gonna do the dollar amount first so I'm gonna put a dollar in the US rate or and I'm gonna do the euro rate second and let's see if I can remember the shortcut to get the euro rate is it this one yes awesome okay and I'm just gonna boost the size up on that Maybe make it up, push it up to 20, and then we're going to bold uh, a couple things just to make it stand out a bit more. And click OK. And let's try and fix the alignment on that as well. Let's get it all left aligned. Cool. So now if we show our parameter, we should be able to just change this to any amount. And there we go. So now. The last thing we need to do is publish this. So I'm going to save this to Tableau Public as. And what you'll notice here is uh, you've got this Google Sheets option now to keep my data in sync with Google Sheets and embed my Google credentials. So I am going to go ahead and save this. And what this will do is it will go in um, on a daily basis, update um, these rates from Google Sheets and um, and you get a sort of dynamic exchange rate calculator, which I think is awesome. Uh, really handy little trick. Um, I hope you found it useful. Um, as you can see here, we've got, so we change that to 75. It's 88.75. If I scroll down to the bottom here and request an update, let's see if the rate changes now. Knowing my luck, we'll get, there won't be any rate changes, but let's just see. change that to 75 again oh it did change awesome so there you go uh, dynamically updating exchange rates using Google Sheets uh, on Tableau Public uh, thanks very much and uh, see you soon cheers